Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to go over creating, using, and sharing different macros that you've made inside of SolidWorks Electrical Schematic. Take a look at this packaging line power diagram that I have in front of you. And what you can see here is a number of different motor circuits. We can create a macro by coming over to the Macros tab and expanding out one of these groups in order to drag and drop it into the group. However, today we're going to create our own from scratch. We'll do a new group and call this Whole Circuits. I'll say OK. And all I have to do to create my macro is box select this circuit, left click and hold, and then drag and drop it into my group area. I'm going to give it a name of Whole Motor Circuit. And it's been created here in my Whole Circuits group. In order to reuse this uh, macro in a different schematic drawing, I can close this project, open a new one, navigate to the schematic power drawing that I'd like to use this macro on, open up my whole circuits group, and then just drag and drop this using a left click. I'm going to choose to reset my manual marks and say OK. However, because I saved this macro with a number of different components that had already been assigned manufacturer parts, that information is also brought over with my macro, saving me time. If I wanted to share this macro with other colleagues, I could allow them to just come into the Macros Manager if we're all connected to the same SQL Server. Otherwise, we can come in to the Macros Manager and we can archive different macros that we're interested in sharing with other people. As an archive, I can save this as my whole macro circuit as a zip file and send it to my colleagues for them to use. If, you were inter if you're interested in more of these Hawkridge Systems tips, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.